what's happening guys welcome back to another reaction in today's video we are checking out sweet juice by purple kiss now before checking out the music video we'll also check out the intro save me performance video very very excited about that one as purple kiss i, I know that i'm a little bit late on this music video but i'm very very excited about this one i've checked out the trailer which also like showed like the concept as far as like introducing a villain of sorts that enters room 315 if i'm not mistaken and also seeing like the hotel room the hotel's name from the very first visual of the music video as i have it pulled up it's called insolito which in spanish means unusual or extraordinary as they are witches so it is quite fitting very very cool name for a hotel really really intrigued by this concept as like the nerdy music video there are like these witches or uh, of sorts that are pretty much uh making the lives of those who make fun of them miserable as far as how witches are portrayed on television and and, and whatnot that was an an amazing music video really really enjoyed that one so i'm very very excited about this so without further ado let's get into it I love Swan's voice. Party's over. Who is the savior? Dripping, dripping purple juice. I can't bring the pain. It's yet snotty thing. Nice camera movement moving with them. I don't make it back. This is haunting. The production is almost like you're in a maze or something. <laughs> Damn. Wait, let's take it back. That, that sounded so good. And like... That move that they did with them bouncing uh, on their knees and whatnot. I don't know how slippery that... It almost looks like a rug. I don't know how is that even possible. If that's like an actual smooth surface, then that makes more sense. But that 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 looks almost like crazy, amazing. I, I'm saying that in the best way possible. That was uh, uh, the choreography is very very haunting and like I guess incorporating like the 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 witcher with the witchcraft aspect of them being witches into the actual choreography and like controlling like puppets and whatnot which is really really cool that that was smooth Damn, that... Purple kiss. That drop, and like the production, it, like the ambiance, it just... It feels like you're like running in a, in a maze, basically, with no... Without knowing where exactly you're going, which makes sense, because like being haunted, basically, in a maze, if, if that makes any sense. I don't know. This is really, really captivating. Uh, very, very addicting stuff. Let's get into the music video. Now I'm even more excited. So uh, thank fuck I didn't check this out off camera. Let's get into the music video. That's the key that she, yeah, from the trip. 
Oh. Shining reference or something? This is captivating as fuck. And wait, hold up. What does uh, Rilas? Rilas? So I was kind of wondering about that one word that pops up throughout this entire music video that reads Rilas, if I'm not mistaken. I couldn't find anything on Google. Then I went on Twitter and somebody, more than a few people started pointing it out that apparently it's spelled backwards and it's supposed to be salir, which is supposed to mean get out or leave, which is really, really cool. So if you want that sweet juice, you have to leave, run. The interesting part is that the trailer almost like introduces like a villain of sorts, but then it seems like I'm not sure if the girls are being haunted by themselves, by another version of themselves, or is there someone that is doing all of this to them and is using them to scare them and to fuck with them? I'm not really sure because uh, it, it does seem like the trailer introduces that big villain that enters room 315. Uh, but but then we see all of this almost like the psychological thriller aspect with a reference to The Shining and whatnot. And uh, uh, very cool, <laughs> very cool stuff. Let's take it back. Do you want some sweet juice? Yes. Run straight. Was that her own voice? Was she talking to herself? I'm not sure. Do you want some sweet juice? Yes. Run straight. That sounded like the same voice. Oh, 
Damn. Okay, this was fucking awesome, to be brutally honest. This is uh, one of the most hauntingly beautiful songs I've heard uh, this month, last month for sure. It is absolutely beautiful, not just visually, the fact that there's so many various references to horror movies like The Shining. Pretty sure that even like there are backwards text is a shining reference or at the very least a horror movie reference the twins um the haunted or like this cursed hotel in a way it it's really really interesting because they're like the these uh which is the hotel is called insolito which is supposed to mean unusual and extraordinary and they all, at the end of the music video, enter that room where the villain in the trailer, I, I believe, was supposed to enter. It feels as if, like, either the villain was fucking with them with the image of themselves, but then at the same time, that phone call, it felt like the voices were very, very similar. So I feel like there's something very psychological in the battle between you and yourself or maybe that's the way the villain intended for it to be i'm not really sure but uh this is really really uh incredible and and vocally the addicting and almost like this playful chorus the deep vocals the rap was amazing visually these girls are absolutely stunning and uh just overall the visuals and the production on this video are top freaking notch so uh this is really really cool let's actually take it back because there's i'm not sure if i'm gonna talk all that much about the actual video but there are some really cool things as far as like the lyrics are concerned and how they may apply as far as like purple kiss as a group as far as reaching to that level of superstardom in a way and, and like unlocking their potential because these girls are as good as the best of them but yet it feels like this video has been released like two or three days ago as i'm reacting to it right now and it deserves more than it has at the moment so uh let's take it back let's refresh the page and just add another view to the uh view counter i guess and let's get back into it oh so the door was the the villain or whoever has already entered. Interesting. Is three fifteen like meaningful in any horror movie or or to them in any way? Let me know. I love this choreography of them. It's like it it's just really really incredible. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like for so long we've been starving, like maybe that can easily apply to them as a group as far as like there's all of this talent that we have and we want to be at a point where we unleashed ourselves and uh, you know reached a level of popularity that we very much deserve with the talent and the dedication that that we have but also in terms of like I, I feel like the lyrics here can definitely apply to like purple kiss as a group but also they do a very good job of applying them for like this music video in particularly out of control I love how the camera spun around on the vocal melody. That was really, really cool. Interesting. Oh, 
Interesting. So something stopped her from having a sip. Would that have killed her or was... But also in context of sweet juice, was that the juice or was that something that was potentially poisonous? Really, really interesting touch there. Wait, that that was like a portal. So I'm I'm not sure. Maybe that seemed like a portal to the end of the music video as they all enter that room 315, which leads to a different dimension. So it's like somebody from that room herself, maybe if it's like a duality that kind of thing, like she stopped another version of her from drinking that tea, which potentially would 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 kill her. I'm I'm not sure. Because even like the twins, maybe like it's more than just a reference to a horror movie, but literally like showing a duality, like lit mo almost like just throwing it in your face just like that not sure that choreography was beautiful lower the but damn that's that's beautiful Again with that. Damn, that's beautiful. That, the camera movement was was beautiful and how it kind of worked out with the piano that was really really nice as it shows all of the members and it, that's really really cool So there's like a villain of sorts, the, the woman with the hat that is like haunting all of them, trying to do all kinds of shit to them. Do you want some sweet juice? But that sounds like her. Yes. Run. Sweet juice. Maybe? Damn. amazing like i feel like that's a duality kind of thing like there's two versions of them almost kind of like a mm, like a because with dreamcatcher kind of situation which also has something to do with a hotel with a duality of sorts like I, i'm i'm not i'm not really sure like here they're standing almost like like a zombie which i guess is a pun to a previous song by them uh almost lifeless and there's snow so there's like coldness so it's almost like they're kind of like dead inside because the real version of them is on the outside i'm not i'm not really sure i feel like there's definitely like a bit of a duality situation happening but then there's like that big villain that is kind of like in the shadows or with the hat and whatnot that you can never see the face of uh, 
but I'm not the the one thing that makes me feel like it's a version of you that is almost like trying to save you in a way is the part where the girl tried to drink that tea or whatever it was and she was stopped that didn't seem like an attempt to kill that seemed like an attempt to save uh and it seemed like it was like almost like this portal that for some reason to me would lead in my opinion would lead to that place in the end of the music video where they're all in in the outside world almost like in as they passed uh through room 315 i'm i'm not really sure but even like with this visual in the beginning of the video uh we have this exact same scene but it's lit very well the lights are on the chandeliers are on it's 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 warm and bright and now the girls are, are inside that frame as opposed to uh, the beginning of the video uh and it's cold as ice it's literally snowing the chandeliers are not working and the girls are basically almost like dead inside in a way so that is really really cool and like the second the phone call when they said yes and the girl said run and all of them started smiling and uh, like the fun begins and all that kind of stuff as they start running as they figured out it's almost like they figured out the answer to that backwards uh word in a way that that means get out um and leave that place i'm I'm not really sure this is really captivating and i'm looking forward to hearing from you guys as far as like the actual meaning of the of this music video uh i feel like also like the lyrics we threw the moment that was dreamed of uh also kind of applies to them as a group as far as like this song potentially being the one and maybe this album being the one to really make them break that glass ceiling of sorts and kind of get through uh to the next level the next chapter of their uh of their careers and whatnot which should absolutely be the case because this might be the the best song that i've checked out by them so far uh, even though I'm I'm still very very high on uh, MEM was was an earworm like almost literally is what what the video was too but just the actual song just stuck with my head uh, in my head rather so 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 freaking much I absolutely loved it and this music video was absolutely incredible from the choreography the ending <laughs> was absolutely uh, wonderful and even like the ending almost like represents contrast between black and white because there's one white glove if i'm not mistaken one glove one transparent uh and you know the fingers are exposed whereas the other uh hand is covered in black i'm, I'm not not really sure and, and there's literally like this cloth uh which almost looks like a black hole of sorts I'm, I, I'm going a little bit too far here but this was absolutely incredible I love the charisma on these girls the, the facial expressions the rap section that girl was just deadly and uh, as always I absolutely loved uh, Swan's vocals incredibly haunting and deep and uh yeah che checking her out on something like limogene service was was just uh, a treat really and that show in general is is a treat every time i get to check it out uh and uh overall these girls did a phenomenal job in in every aspect and uh yeah th this was absolutely wonderful i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did let me know in the comment section down below as well as make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will catch you all in the next one Thank you so much for watching, guys. See ya.